everyone, welcome to your newest addition to this channel. It is Good Morning Tea, where Monday, Wednesday, Friday, I would read everybody and inspire you with some oracle cards. So how about, let's make your tea now. Hi everyone! Yes, it's me with my new glasses. No, I'm kidding. This is an announcement. Ah, seriously. Okay. I just started an interruption. Okay. Well, Mercury is in retrograde, so make sure you watch my IG story. I will be putting for each of the zodiac how it's gonna affect you. Okay. So check that out. This is a generic announcement for the OGs. You know the drill. You can just go right away to the main reading because this is where we filter you know the people who, who doesn't know how to watch this channel it, it will not serve you it, it never has and it will not serve you okay it ain't Burger King so for the new ones um, so the way it works um, there's announcement in the beginning and I can make a two-hour announcement with one minute reading that says how it works it's my channel okay so let me do my thing um, First, there is a webinar that's going to come on March 21 and 28. So that's that one. That's for entrepreneurship. I will have a specific um, video more about it. Um, it's coming. 21 to 28, it's live. Then I would be entertaining four charts every time, needle charts, um, per month. Okay? So it's going to be first come, first serve. So just check it in the description box where I would read your uh, needle chart. All, everything is in the description box. Um, what else? I feel like, oh, this is the fastest announcement I've done. I think that's it. Um, make sure you tune in to um, uh, Feeling Sisters. Our latest episode is, um, you know, um, one of a fellow reader in YouTube. She's amazing. Her name is Ella. Okay. And so check out her story. Um, maybe you resonate with her also. She's amazing. And it's in here in the I card in the upper left corner. Um, there may be an extended two. I'm not sure if there's extended two, but there's always an extended preview. So stay all the way to the end so you can watch the rest of the reading, okay, the conclusion, before you go to the link in the description box. All the tarot classes and webinar and workshops are also available for download. It's, I mean, download, like for you to view it, it's going to be in the description box, all right? So I think that's it for everybody. Now we're going to proceed to each of the Zodiac's reading. Hi, Sagis. So let's begin. I don't know if they put in the announcement about the uh, four clients a month only. So check in the description box for the natal chart. Okay, it's an hour session with me. Right, so 10,000 likes, it's back. It's a game that I play every time I have a chance to do a reading with no extended. So meaning, hit the like if you want to get a whole reading with no extended. That's it. Okay. So you guys don't have to go to the extended. Let's begin. Shall we? Yes, we shall. Oh, okay. Might be connected with someone's French. Okay. Or maybe Adam's family. Who knows? Okay. <laughs> I love, love, love. Okay. Here we go. I'm mellow like a jello. Okay. So here we go. Let's see. Someone wants to take you out. Nice dinner. You guys will go on a nice dinner. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm. Letter N. Okay. And R. Rain. Rain. No, I'm not gonna sing. <laughs> I'm not gonna sing. I laugh a lot here. So get off my channel if you don't like me laughing. Okay. Um, let me see here. Then you can open your own channel that you can be serious. <laughs> One, five, three, number, resonance wise, okay? Um, very, very masculine energy here from what I'm seeing. Mm -hmm. Want to take you out. What's this dinner about? Very special, very significant. Either for you or for the person. 
Mm -hmm. Number nine, I'm also seeing. Um, let's see what else. Uh, someone likes to listen to your stories, things that you want to say. Very, very uh, receptive person. Very, very receptive. Um, you're saying here that this karma you cannot escape for now. Of course, there's free will, but of course, there's also karma that we need to fulfill. Okay, can you escape your parents? No. It's a karma that needs to be fulfilled. Karma T I T S. You understand me? Mm hmm. That's how it works. So, <laughs> like, same thing as relationship. There's karma involved in it. Yes. It's beyond the flesh. It's a soul tie. It has to be dealt with. Mm. Got me? Mm hmm. So, no escape right now. Letter F I'm seeing here also. Maybe that's a restaurant that you guys are gonna go to. Mm hmm. I feel like it's more of a dinner. Mm -hmm. Let's see. I feel like you, you're you trying to delete your ex also here. You're trying to end the situation that you felt like, well, I wasn't really, really the only person in that person's life. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm seeing here. Now, the ex is still keeping tabs on you. Like, they kind of still know what you do. They watch you, you know. You can ask your friends, social media, you know, stuff like that. Or energetically in your dreams. You know, they're still trying to figure out why. I don't know why your ex is still trying to figure out, but I'm seeing it here. Mm -hmm. Let's see here. Ooh, we're here. We've arrived. Ten of Pentacles, Shabangles. <laughs> Pentacles, Pentacles, and Pentacles. <laughs> The coins. The coins is more important than the soulmate. <laughs> because your landlord as your soulmate always comes every end of the month. Not your soulmate. You understand me? Okay. Hmm. Ten of Pentacles here shows that I don't know. Mm, just good life. <laughs> Divine blessing coming your way. Okay. Now here's what it uh, here's what it is uh, with the Ten of Pentacles. Of course, with Jupiter and Sag right now, you know, it's like you will feel it. Especially Saturn has left already. You know, Saturn is in Capricorn, but it's like this: you get finances, but with control. You get finances with restriction. Of course, I'm do I'm using by the ascendant or by the moon sign, okay? Um, and I use sidereal, okay? So that's why for people they will really receive this blessing, okay? Um, depending also how much degrees you have and if it's Jupiter is your Atmakarka, highest degree. Oh my god, your soul planet comes to its own home, then here I am. I'm saving you. I'll give you happiness. I'll give you fulfillment of your joy. Wishes are going to be granted. Mm -hmm. Peace and harmony okay, is going to be here with the Ten of Pentacles. Atma, highest degree. Mm -hmm. So I feel like you could also be finding uh, your soul purpose here. Your family. This is lineage, legacy, um, properties is going to be given to you. Uh, inheritance is Ten of Pentacles. Is right here. Mm -hmm. Blessing from the divine. Mm -hmm. Be very particular of any pets. I feel like they might be communicating to you. Dogs, I don't know. Chow Chow, How How, Carabao. <laughs> Whatever pet you have. Okay, maybe a tiger, lion, snake. Mm -hmm. Let me see here. Someone here wants to go back to school also. Mm -hmm. Is right here. Someone wants to go back and fulfill their diploma. It can be also higher studies that they're pursuing. This can be the person that you're dealing with. Mm -hmm. Let's see here. Ooh, we've arrived. King of Cups, we've arrived. The most loving person ever. Ever. And uh, in the tarot is the King of Cups. So what, what are people here for anyway, right? Love. What are people here for? Commitment. Ten of Pentacles. What are people here for? Um, deep connection. Well, it's not. Well, King of Cups will have give you give deep connection. But you could also have a Scorpio in your chart. That's a King of Cups. King of Cups with uh, Ten of Pentacles. This shows uh, someone is falling for you. Um, can be a war sign. Mm -hmm. They're falling for someone. Cancer, but normally it's a Scorpio card. Yes. Mm. Let's see here. Seven of Cups, all your dreams coming to you, right? You know, 
I feel like you're hitting a sweet spot in your life right now. Ooh, see, that's an omen. I got an email. Mm -hmm. Sweet spot in your life. Um, you have to pick now. When things are going well for you, what will you pick? Relationship? Partnership? What? Uh, I don't know, so... I don't know. Okay. Mm -hmm. I don't know. What do you want? Because you're getting it. Whatever you want, you're gonna get. Seven of Wands. Okay, so you realize that since things are coming to you, you're gonna be very restrictive. Seven of Wands. You'll be a little bit picky, Sag. You might even, um, you have a level of standard on who, who you come to with regards to uh, relationship. You know, Sammy? You got options with the Seven of Cups. When I say options like that, you can have your dream career right now, your dream job, your fulfillment of who you are. But Seven of Wands, you could be slowing it down also. Mm -hmm. Now, if it's an X with a Seven of Wands and a Seven of Cups, they are trying not. They're trying to make sure that you're not seeing other people. They don't like that. Mm -hmm. If it's an X. Nine of Cups. Did I tell you that you're getting all your wish granted? Yes. <laughs> yes, please. Nine of Cups to Ten of Pentacles. Emotional fulfillment. So, how does one get there? Being happy. Mm -hmm. It's waking up in that whole vibe of life is good. Oh, I, so when I wake up, I'm, I'm so excited every day to wake up. Just excited. No matter what the day turns out, for example, today, whatever it turns out, the next day, I'm just excited and thrilled, welcoming the new energy of the sun and everything. This is the Nine of Cups. Okay? So you cannot attract the Ten of Pentacles by just doing that because it has to be really within. Mm -hmm. I'm just teaching you guys. Let me see here. And the King of Cups is a tower. Head over heels with you, unexpectedly falling in love with you. Queen of Pentacles and the Ten of Wands. Everything that you felt like it was a burden in your life is all about to be over. Um, things that you feel like are one-sided, it's all going to be released. This is very good. Uh, the Tower is an awakening. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm feeling here. I don't sense a breakup. I sense someone falling for you. Madly in love. King of Pentacles can be same sex. You get a Magician, Virgo, or Gemini. You get the full card. And the Nine of Wands. If you have any kind of fear, Nine of Wands with a Ten of Wands, um, I feel like all those will be removed. Someone is going to take a risk on showing themselves their love their love their love to you. Whatever you want. This person is gonna ask you. However you want it. This is a song, right? However you want it. I don't need it, right? Someone is because the full card with the magician, I feel like this person is gonna ask you, uh um in essence wise, because the full I don't know how, but I will. That's the magician. Um so if you're looking for a serious commitment, relationship partnership this person has this energy for you. It's available for you. King of Pentacles, you're just um, being true to your coins. You're taking care of business. Um, you're taking care of your life. You know, King of Cups energy here. Someone really wants to be with you, but they're gonna ask you first, what do you want and how do you want this? Nine of Wands with the Ten of Wands, don't be scared. Release the burden. You have too much responsibility that you're doing for everybody so that this person can come to your life. It's a foreign person, can be far, far from you with the, with, the, uh, with the full card. Magician is just showing that this person is manifesting a connection with you, okay? So, Sagis, I'm going to continue this reading. Next is the extended preview. There's also extended too. Thank you very much, guys, for watching. Follow me down there. Everything is in the description box. Bye. Hi, Sagis. Welcome to my channel. We're doing your daily seasons 18 to the 19. We're just doing some cleansing. I won't be doing the girl deck. I choose to cleanse with you guys as the full moon is approaching. Um, you know, uh, I would suggest, you know, if you guys, you know, do practice cleansing. And if you have it in your corner store, get one. And if not, you can always go to my website. Okay. It's more of like, you know, you just have to have it. Okay. And at home, you know, so at anywhere, even in the car, I have some stuff, you know, just, it's, it's my go-to. Okay. So let's see what's going on though for my Sagis. 18 to the 19. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Let's see what you guys have. This is the dailies. Let's begin. Okay, here we go. 
her high priestess, um, someone here is doing some magical stuff, definitely. Um, someone is keeping a secret. This is also known as uh, a shady B-I-T-C-H. Uh, uh, B -I -T -C -H. <laughs> because they can go in a shutdown. And when they're quiet, they quiet. They don't, you know, say, they keep the, they keep the secrets. Okay? So you, either you know the T, you know, to the, to the situation that you're in. And, you know, it's like you're not saying. You're not telling. Or someone is keeping a secret from you. It can be a Taurus or a Pisces who's doing this. Let me see here. Other person. Knight of Pentacles it can be a Taurus also because my the High Priestess for me is a Taurus card. So um, someone here has stopped um, communicating towards you and the High Priestess I feel they're trying to manifest it meaning it's just like you know what you're gonna you're gonna talk to me you're gonna talk to me you're gonna talk to me that's a High Priestess. By not doing they're trying to basically get this person back in their life vice versa for a cross watcher. This is now playing hard to get. Knight of, the High Priestess is playing hard to get with a person that's not talking to them. Because the night stops before they can go again. There are eight of wands, you see? Hard to get. This can be your other person, but sad just the eight of wands is your energy. Um, this is uh, throwing also um, open messages, meaning um, you're gonna drop some hints that you're ready to communicate if you will not communicate directly with them. Because the High Priestess is looking away. Like, it's just like, oh, you know what? I was just in town, or you know what? Uh, maybe I'll just post something on Instagram, Facebook, and social media because it's online so that they see me as active and then they will message me back. But these are all messages towards someone basically ignoring, because this is on the other side, ignoring the messages. Okay. But it's all pertaining to the night. Let me see here. Next to the night. Good, I'm Hermit card. Mm-hmm. So this person, you know, um, it caught their attention, whoever you're trying or you know, whoever's trying to get your attention, basically. The whole um, um, game of being quiet, um, you know, the, the games of like, okay, who's going to message first? The other person finds out about it. It's like, okay, I understand that you're throwing stuff in the air, so it's getting my attention. With the hermit card, they see this light bulb moment and they're just like, oh, I didn't know that you were trying to get in touch with me. Oh. Oh, so that's why you were, you know, um, posting stuff on your Instagram or Facebook or Snapchat or whatever online thing that you were trying to send some signals with the Eight of Wands. This is mixed signals now for the other person because they're trying to understand. First, you're not talking to me and then now you're talking to me, you know. So they're trying to understand with the Hermit. Let me see under the Eight of Wands. Ooh, not good. Okay. So this person is very, very shady. You got a Seven of Swords. Their game... They have a plan. The High Priestess with the Seven of Swords and Eight of Wands. This person has a schemey plan here. So I don't like the Seven of Swords here. Really, really. Because they're not telling the truth why they're trying to reel the other person. It's, this is a major... Um, um, can be like a mind gamer. Is that, is that even a word? Not, not, not a player, player per se. But they like to toy with people's mind here. Seven of Swords with the High Priestess. Let me see here. See, the mixed signal that this person is trying to understand is, is it's like, why are you, why did you stop talking? And then why are you trying to lure me? Okay, so the, the Hermit is trying to be smart also here. Let me see. Got a Nine of Cups. Oh, be careful for what you wish for. Okay. Because this person, okay, is mesmerized by the, uh, it can be, you know, by... The mysteriosity first. So they like the mysterious energy. They're digging it, you know, the high priestess. They're liking it with the eight of wands, the communication. But this person doesn't know that there's something hidden. There is something the other person is not revealing when they're not talking. They're only, okay, this person is only seeing what the other person allows them to see. Behind that, that curtain of the High Priestess, normally it's like that's something that you wouldn't know. And this person lies on top of lies. It can be about how they communicate. It's all these things that they, they send out, it's all a lie. And this person is an unknowing, basically, um, a victim of someone who, who likes to conceal and never reveal what their intentions are. And this person, I feel with the Knight of Cups, is very innocent. They feel that they found what they wish for, you know, the light that they wish for, their star. But we have to yet to see, okay?
So I'm going to continue this reading as we unfold what the other person is definitely hiding on top of hiding. Okay, because this is a major layers of lies. I see it with the Eight of Wands. Um, link down there in the description box for the extended read and also for uh, for the uh, smudge stuff. And yeah, I think that's it. Thank you very much, guys. Everything is on my website. I'll see you guys again. Bye, Sam. You do feel kind of pressured by this person or the situation. You do feel like, okay, this is going to be tough for me. himself with you long term. Because they're the Nine of Pentacles and you're the Ten of Pentacles. And they're happy. Two of Wands, Five of Pentacles, the Chariot. 